everyone. Welcome to Foresights TV with me, Anjali. In the past, several petitions were filed in the Supreme Court of India with the aim of changing the name of India to Bharat. However, these petitions were ultimately rejected by the highest court in the country. This decision has sparked considerable debate and raised questions about the significance of names and national identity. Let's explore the background of these petitions and delve into the reasons behind the Supreme Court's refusal to alter the name. Here's a special story from Foresights TV. The upcoming G20 conference in Delhi has sparked a heated debate over changing the name of India to Bharat. The issue gained attention due to a special dinner invitation organized by President Draupadi Murmu for conference attendees and dignitaries. This mention of President of India instead of President of Bharat has generated mixed reactions from political parties, leaders, celebrities and the public. People are questioning which name is officially recognized and what the constitution and Supreme Court have to say about this matter. According to Article 1 of the Constitution, our country is officially known as both India and Bharat as it is a union of states. Informally, the country can be referred to by either name. However, the recent invitation letter from the President only uses the term President of India, leading to speculation about the potential name change. Similar discussions have taken place in the past, including the Lok Sabha. Although there have been multiple petitions filed, in the Supreme Court to change the name, they have been rejected. In 2016, a public interest litigation was filed in the Supreme Court seeking to change the name of India to Bharat. However, the court strongly objected to the petition, stating that such appeals would not be considered. Another writ petition was filed in June 2020, arguing that India was a symbol of slavery imposed by the colonialist and requesting the court to order an amendment to Article 1. The Supreme Court rejected this as well, emphasizing that both India and Bharat are recognized names in the constitution. The petitioner was advised to convert the petition into a request and appeal to the central government. A similar petition was also filed in 2015. If the central government decided to change the name of Bharat, a constitutional amendment would be required. This would involve introducing a bill to amend Article 1. However, a simple majority would not be sufficient for this amendment. A special majority, which requires a two-third majority, is necessary to amend the constitution. There are speculations that the bill to change the name to Bharat will be introduced during a special session of the parliament in the third week of September 18th to 22nd. The proposal to remove the India brand and replace it with Bharat has garnered mixed reactions from political leaders. Congress MP Shashi Tharoor asserts that there is no constitutional objection to using the name Bharat, but he warns against hastily discarding the globally recognized name India. Similarly, Congress leader Manish Tiwari highlights Article 52, which refers to the President of India, adding an interesting perspective to the debate. While the idea of embracing the traditional name Bharat may hold cultural significance, it is crucial to consider the potential implications of such a change on India's international identity. India is a brand that resonates with people around the world and carries historical and economic weight. Any decision to alter this branding should be approached cautiously taking into account its potential impact on global recognition and perspection. Ultimately, striking a balance between preserving India's rich heritage and maintaining its global standing is paramount. It is vital for the government to weigh the benefits and backdrops of rebranding, ensuring that any potential changes align with the nation's long-term interest. A thorough analysis and careful evaluation of the consequences should be undertaken before making any decision on this matter. Thank you for watching Foresights TV with me, Anjali.